What's the right protocol if you get to meet the Queen of England? You're gonna wanna find that out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Here we go. Being from the United States, we don't spend a lot of time thinking about what we would do if we got to meet the Queen of England. But if we ever did, we need to know the right protocol, the right things to do in order to do that. First, I'm reading here to make sure I get this right, a curtsy or a bow, the head only. Address your majesty and subsequently as ma'am. Don't speak unless spoken to. And don't sit until she sits. And don't eat until she eats. These are things that are the right protocol for when you meet the queen. Protocols also exist in networking. So we've heard of these before, maybe you haven't, but there are many, and I mean by dozens, if not hundreds of protocols inside of networking. So a protocol, it's a set of rules for how to communicate with each other. For example, some protocols need an acknowledgement. So if I'm going to talk to Sam, I may say, Sam, how are you doing? He may acknowledge that he heard me before he even responds. That would be part of a protocol. Or maybe I just send Sam a lot of information and I get no responses. That also is correct rules for other types of protocols. Lots and lots of rules that exist for these, some that you'll need to know and some that you don't have to worry about so much. Some example protocols, one of the most important, the most important, is called TCPIP, Transport Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol. It was invented way back when. It's really what is the primary mechanism for data movement today. Uh, if you are streaming this video off of YouTube right now or off of any kind of other provider, that data is being sent to you over TCP IP. Now, in order to get that data to you, it likely also had many other protocols in use. What if you had to log in first? What if before you, maybe you're at a university and you sat down and you had to log into your local network first? That was done with a different protocol. What if you need to transfer files or you need to get your email? All of that is separate protocols. So a protocol is just a set of rules for standardizing a way that devices communicate. There are some protocols that are just for networking devices. So at Extreme Networks, let's say we have switches that wanna communicate with each other or a switch to an access point. Uh, those are all done with other kinds of protocols. Now, don't worry so much. You don't have to memorize all of these. You don't have to understand the bits and bytes of how they work. But generally, you do want to understand the basic rules for some of them, the more popular ones like TCP IP. We're not going to go through that now. But for now, I just want you to understand a protocol is just a way that devices communicate. There are hundreds and hundreds of different protocols. That's what I want you to understand right now. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell because we're going to want to keep going here. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the next video.